Welcome back, everybody. It's Chad Seymour Morris here with some more science and spirituality for you. Get ready to be amazed by the mind-blowing secrets of the cardioid. It's a shape everyone's probably seen, especially inside a cup like you see here, but even its name isn't very well known. The cardioid is naturally formed from light refraction within a circle. You've probably noticed them in your coffee or tea, but you can even see it in something as small as a ring. For those big into math and geometry, I'm sure you're well aware of their graphing functions or musical engineers will probably know of cardioid based microphone designs. The cardioid is also the main body of the famous Mandelbrot set, which introduced the infinite repeating patterns of fractals to the world. And fractals, along with a vast introduction to all of this material, I previously covered in my YouTube presentations simply titled Our Scientific Spiritual World Parts 1 through 5. If you're seeing this information for the first time, be sure to check this out for tremendous depth and insight to what this is really all about. I'd say my main goal is to break down our fractal nature and literally learn to hack the laws and physics of our reality so that we can ultimately live healthier and happier lives much more connected to something far more profound than just ourselves. And as covered in parts 1 and 2, I believe the ancient symbol of sacred geometry known as the flower of life is basically the underlying fractal grid of the entire cosmos, which is why this symbol shows up all over the ancient world in sacred symbols. I theorize the infinite spherical or circular nature of the flower of life is directly linked to cardioid circular relationship, and I believe these same principles can be found all throughout the human body as well. Now first let's think about the incredible electromagnetic power of the heart which gives rise to the invisible energy field around the body known as a torus field. And when we use a ferrocell lens, we can actually make the invisible magnetic field visible. And it's no coincidence that the cardioid overlays right with this sacred spiral pattern. Now let's look at the red and blue magnetic polarities of charge as it pulses throughout the torus field. If we were to highlight a single red and blue spiral on each pole, then look at it through the center, you can see the cardioid is formed as they link together. In addition, if I tilt a cup or bowl on a slight angle like the heart, you can see the light refracts further into a spiral, which I notice matches the same formation as the heart's cross section. If we look at those sacred spirals of electromagnetism once again, and recall how these spirals are fractals found all throughout nature and the human body, it may come as no surprise to see the cardioid is basically two spirals put together, which the cross section of our heart, lungs, and rib cage are the same shape. Let's take a look at the visible human project to take a scan downward through the body to get a better understanding. It might be a bit creepy to see this for some, but to me it's quite remarkable. Now if we stop it right here in the chest, you can hopefully see this image a little more clearly. And if we were to keep going, you can see it's a near perfect match of the abdomen as well. Now let's think about the implosive physics of the heart as we take a look at this video of a bubble imploding or cavitating underwater in slow motion. If you look closely as this bubble implodes and turns inside out, you can see the underlying cardioid formation. Perhaps this could be another fractal link to the human body that we haven't yet explored. And speaking of fractal, we can also see the cardioid in transition scaling all the way down to cell division as shown here. Now let's see just how many places the cardioid reveals itself in the human body. Here you can see it in the top down view of the brain, also around the brain stem, and it appears as if one side is a little smaller than the other, possibly reflective to the male and female scale of average humans as well. And looking closely to the shape of the pelvis, you can probably see how it is similar to the brain stem, which is also much like our ears. And if you pay attention to the details of the base of the skull, you can see the nesting layers of cardioids like Russian dolls getting smaller towards the center another possible fractal link. Take into account how the cardioid is at both front, back, and center. It seems to indicate the brain and body are formed perfectly from the alternating polarities flowing back and forth through the torus field. You can also see it from another angle around the brain stem here, as well as the back half of the cerebellum. It's especially visible in the outline of the mouth and throat. Now it's important to note that in some of these correlations to the cardioid, it's more of a subtle influence, like you see here stemming from the middle of the body. Next we have the eye from the side view, and comparing it to the cardioid of light refracting down inside a glass at the bottom, it's a pretty close match. 
You can also see it in the nasal passages from both the front view as well as inside the skull. We can see it going all the way down to the base of the hair follicle. Now let's go completely from head to toe. And of course the feet are more of a subtle influence once again, but if you take into account the curves from the back of the heels together as well, the outline of the feet is basically the same shape as the brain and the brain stem as well. Here we see it as a distortion in the kneecap. We can see it throughout the female genitalia as well as the male. Just like the brain stem, you can see it stemming through the vertebrae of the spine, as well as the kidneys. So with all these connections, I hope you can see the profound link we have to this sacred shape in light. After all, they do say everything is made of light and vibration at its core. That's why I painted this piece you saw in my intro so that I can meditate in the center and learn to hold this sacred image in my mind more clearly. And it certainly has some profound effects on my consciousness. Considering you know now just how much our body stems from these cardioids, you can probably understand why I'm so drawn to them. And I'm hoping that by bringing this information to more people, there could possibly be many more discoveries made in relation. The truth is, we just don't know what this kind of knowledge could actually lead to. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, so I'm just going to leave this here for now, but in the next one I got much more to come, which ties the cardioid into ancient Egypt, more sacred geometry, and basically an infinite amount of shapes, also how it influences the energy flow of the human body, and how the cardioid relates to other creatures, and even links us with the growth of trees. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to give me a like and share to help reach more people. And of course, give a follow if you're interested in what comes next. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.